Hello, Bob. President Trump, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? Okay. Real well. I'm turning Good. on my tape recorder oh, that's with okay. your permission. That's okay. I don't I'm mind that. I'm sorry we missed the opportunity to talk for the book. Well, I just spoke with Kellyanne, and she asked me if I uh, if I got a call. I never got a call. I never got a message. Who did you Who did you ask about speaking to me? Well, about six people. Uh, you know, well, they don't tell me. Senator, uh, uh, I talked to Kellyanne about it two and a half Thank months ago. She yeah. came for lunch. Well, it's too bad. Of course, you and I had a conversation. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, and so that, I think, got you there a little bit. And we had a conversation many years ago, if you remember, in yes, Trump I Tower. Did. I did. That has to be 20 years ago. And you were thinking about doing a book about me then, which is interesting. Who knew it would have been on this subject, right? Yeah, that was yeah, not in the cards that, at that time. That's right. Well, I'm sorry. I, I mean, still remember I, that. I spent a lot of time on uh, this, talked to lots of people. Right, good. And uh, you, uh, as you know and are living, we are at a pivot point in history. Right. And uh, I would have liked to have done that, and I maximized my effort. Right. And somehow it didn't get to you. or It's you really too want. bad because nobody told me about it, and I would have loved to have spoken to you. You know I'm very open to you. I think you've always been fair, but we'll see what happens. But all I can say is the country is doing very well. We're doing better economically just about that at any time. We're doing better on unemployment maybe than ever. You know, I mean, if you look at the unemployment numbers, you've heard me say it. And we're doing better on unemployment than just about ever. Uh, we're having a lot, of con a lot of companies are moving back into our country, which is, would have been unheard of uh, two years ago. If the other administration or representatives of it had kept going or kept, you know, if the other group had won, uh, I will tell you that you would have, uh, you'd, I think you'd have a GDP of less than zero. I think we would have been going in the wrong direction because uh, regulations are such a big part of what we've done, Bob. Well, but, I understand that uh, point of view, and as you know, yeah. it's also a difficult time where the political system uh, and you and my business uh, yeah. is being tested. Yeah. And uh, you know, I take it very seriously. I've done books on eight presidents going back from Nixon, Obama. Right. And I, uh, I learned something about reporting, frankly, Mr. President. Good. That, uh, I've got to go talk to people and see them outside of the White House and outside of their offices. And i uh, gained a lot of insight and documentation, and it's, uh, you know, it's a tough look at the world and your administration and you. Right. Well, I assume that means it's going to be a negative book, but, well, you know, I'm, some, I'm sort of 50 percent used to that. That's all right. <laughs> some are good and some are bad. Sounds like this it, is going to be a bad it, one. It's a chance missed, and I don't know how things work over there in terms Very well. of getting we to you. Well, if you would call Madeline in my office, uh, did you speak to Madeline? No, I didn't. But Madeline I, is the key. She's the secret well, because I she's, to Raj she's about the person. It. I talked to Kelly. Well, a lot of them are afraid to come and talk, or you know, they are busy. I'm busy, uh, but I don't mind talking to you. I would have spoken to you. I spoke to you 20 years ago. I spoke yeah. to you a year and a half or two years ago. Years ago, I, I understand. And uh, yeah. I certainly don't mind talking to you. And I wish I could have spoken to you. Well, uh, it's, it's, but you know, you, but nobody called my office. I mean, you went through. Well, what, I guess I mean, different I, people. Mr. President, how can I spend all this time talking to uh, people and uh, like Kellyanne and Raj and Republican senators? I mean, uh, who were the senators? No, they never called me like, about it. Uh, Senator Graham said he had talked to you about talking to me. Now, is that not true? Uh, Senator Graham actually mentioned it quickly on yeah, one meeting, right. and we'll you know, that's, that, is that is true. That is true. Well, that no, but that is true. Uh, mentioned it quickly, not like uh, you know. And I would certainly uh, have thought that maybe you would have called the office, but that's okay. I'll speak to Kellyanne. I am a little surprised that she wouldn't have told me. Yeah, in fact, well, she just walked in. I'm yeah. talking to Bob Woodward. He said that he told you. Yeah about speaking to me, but you never told me. Why didn't you tell me? I would have been very happy to speak to him. All right, so what are you going to do? Well, uh, So I have another bad book coming out. It, it goes on, and, uh, you know, I, uh, I, what you can count on uh, 
is that I've been very careful. And Evelyn, are you on? Yes. Uh, Evelyn Duffy, who's my assistant, Mr. Hello, Evelyn. He, uh, uh, she uh, transcribed all the tapes because, with permission, I tape people for hundreds of hours. Good. And I think there's nothing in this book that doesn't come from a firsthand source. Is that correct? I, I believe but are you naming names, or do you just say sources? Yeah, well, it, it names real incidents, so... No, but you, do you name sources? I mean, are you naming the people, or just say, uh, you know, people have said? I, I, I say at 2 o'clock on this day, the following happened, and everyone who's there, including yourself, uh, it is quoted, and I'm... Sorry, I didn't get to ask you about these. I mean, you do know I'm doing a great job for the country. You do know that NATO now is going to pay billions and billions of dollars more, as an example, than anybody thought possible, that other presidents were unable to get more, and it was heading downward. You do know all of the things I've done and things that I'm doing. I'm in the process of making some of the greatest trade deals ever to be made. You do understand that stuff. I, I, I mean, I, sir, I hope. I I understand, and I would have lo loved to go through a uh, discussion with you about NATO, because this, you know, goes back to early in your administration and your concern about it and the agreement that the countries have that they would increase their defense contribution, uh, I, what is it, by the year 2024. And, uh, you know, so anyway... We uh, we are well. You know, last uh, year, if you see if you see um, uh, the secretary Saltenberg, Sol he said, I believe forty four billion dollars just last year, and that was from last year's meeting. And this year, it's much more money they've agreed to put up. So it's a it's a tremendous amount of money. No other president has done it. It was heading down in the opposite direction. So I don't know if you're going to report it that way. Probably not. But. Uh, it's too bad, but that's all right. But, you know, one of those things. Everything is going to be factual, and it is not a good thing for my business, if I may say this to you, Mr. President, to the presidency or to the country, to not have real full exchanges on these. And I broke my spear on it trying to get to you. Well, other than Lindsay, who did qu uh, quickly mention well, it, Carolyn nobody Ann, mentioned you it. Kelly Ann, nobody right? told me about she it. Well, let me her. ask her. Why don't you speak to Kellyanne? Ask her. She never told me about it. Kelly, hey, Bob, how are you? Hi. I, uh, remember two and a half months ago you came over and I laid out, I wanted to talk to the president, mm -hmm. and you said you would uh, get back to me. I do, and I put in the request. But, you know, they, it, it was rejected. I can only take it so far. I guess I can bring it right to the president next time. Yeah. But I try to follow all the protocols or else I'm accused of being somebody who doesn't follow protocol. President Trump, I just want you to know I made every effort. Did you? But you had talked to Hope, right, who said no? Uh, listen, I talked to anyone I could. You talked to a number of people and they I all said no? Raj. He was going to He was going to push it out. Hope, me. Yeah, so. I, so you said you tried to talk to everybody. What about when you interviewed like, yeah, other well, people? Yeah. They all said yes? Yeah, well. That they tried? Uh, about six or seven people I tried. And I couldn't have, you know, you and I spent a whole lunch on it, Kellyanne. And I said, I want to cover the substantive issues in foreign policy and domestic policy. And you said you would get back to me. Nothing. Yeah, so I did. I presented it to the people here who make those decisions. But, but anyway, I'll give you back to the president. And I'm I'm glad I'm glad to hear that you you tried through seven or eight different people. Yeah, that's good. You should tell him all the names. <laughs> Thank you. But you never called for me. It would have been nice, Bob, if you well, called I, I, for I, me I, in my I, office. I, I mean, I have a secretary. I have two, three secretaries. If you would have called directly, a lot of people are afraid that Raj, I hardly have, you know, I don't speak Kelly to Raj. Is a I do, office. I do, and Kellyanne went to somebody, but she didn't come to me. Well, does she and she should have come to me. To uh, she does have access to me, absolutely. She has direct access, but she didn't come to me. Yeah. And you know what? That's okay. I'll just end up with another okay. bad book. What okay, can well, I tell you? Is, it's surprising to me that these people, did Raj have access to you? But not really, but uh, he would have been able to uh, do it. But I have I have an office. You have the, the office number. I have an office that's directly into my office. 
It doesn't matter. Let me tell you what matters. The economy is the best it's been in many, many decades, and it's going to get a lot better. And the country is doing very well. That's what's important. Yes, sir. I thought we're I doing a good never, job. Uh, uh, kind of say, let's uh, not talk about this because the book is done. Yeah, I know. The president, and but you know that's the position we're in, and it's uh, one uh, I tried to avoid. You need to know I made maximum effort. All right, it's too bad. Yes, sir. I'm just hearing about it, and I heard uh, I did hear from Lindsay, but I'm just hearing about it. So we're going to have a very inaccurate book, and that's too bad. No, but I don't blame you entirely. Be accurate. I All right. Accurate. Okay. Well, accurate is that nobody's ever done a better job than I'm doing as president. That I can tell you. So that's uh, and that's the way a lot of people feel that know what's going on, and you'll see that over the years. But a lot of people feel that, Bob. So I, I believe in our country, and because you're our president, I wish you good luck. Okay. Thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it. Bye.